Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So my last video about my vaccination and my side effects from the vaccination got quite a few views, I think about 130,000 so far and today is the 4th of January 2022. Main thing that I noticed is there are 2,000 or more comments on it and the vast majority of them are asking me why did I get the vaccine and if I had the side effects why did I go for the booster? So I thought I should address some of the comments and questions because so many people watched it and thank you for watching it and spending your time uh, listening to my story um, and I think it's fair that I should answer your questions as well. So first of all, why did I get a booster? So first of all, um, being an ex-doctor and an educated guy who studied a lot of science throughout his life I believe in science and I trust medicine. Um, whether you agree with it or not, but this is my personal view and my personal belief and feelings, so you may disagree with it. But we have lived our life much better over the last hundred years through the advancement of science and technology and medicine. Whether we agree with it or not is irrelevant. The numbers, the statistics prove people are living longer there was a time in the late 1800s and early 1900s where people would die in their 30s, 40s, and that was considered a decent life. Now people live up to 100, and that's normal. So there is science, there is research, there is a huge amount of investment that goes into this. And I guess also being a scientist, I agree that these vaccines were created very quickly. There hasn't been enough um, scientific evidence to see the effects uh, enough testing so this is kind of a mass experiment but the reason i got the vaccines in the first place is because i have a friend who's 36 years old he was in italy when the coronavirus spread with two friends one was 26 and one was 42. all three of them got coronavirus the 42 year old and the 26 year old died and this 36 year old friend of mine survived. And when I saw his pictures in the hospital, he looked like a ghost. He was a healthy, young, fit individual who looked like an old man who was dying of cancer. Luckily, he recovered. That kind of hit me. I'm not afraid of dying, but I thought, if I get this and I have to go through all this suffering, which one is worse? And also, when you get an infection, it triggers an immune response in your body. So if you get an attenuated virus um, through a vaccine, it's the same thing. So scientifically, it made sense to me. I got the first one, I was all right. I got the second one, I got that adverse reaction and I made a video about it. So if you're interested in hearing what happened, I'll link it up here. But at the same time, I believe that over time, science improves. It's a risk, but so many people die in car accidents. We don't stop driving. Um, planes crash, we don't stop flying. Yes, it's a kind of a bad analogy, I understand, because this hasn't been proven or experimented long enough, but we are where we are. And I don't want to transmit it to other people. And if there is a small possibility, even if it's 50%, that if I get corona, it will be less severe, then why not? And our body is very capable of healing itself from these little things. So even though I had the um, nerve issue, I didn't really think it was a big enough deal that it wasn't going to make me a cripple. Maybe I'm being foolish and not thinking about it. Again, you may disagree with this, but from my point of view, my brain thinks it's okay. And when they gave me the booster, which was the Moderna, I have to say, and I have to admit that I was stupid because I didn't even think about the reaction and the issues that I had with AstraZeneca that I could possibly get them with Moderna. I just thought, well, Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson are okay because not many people have reported any issues with them, so it should be fine. And it was fine, so I got the booster, would I get a fourth one and a fifth one? I probably won't because I think 
it's now getting out of hand. It's just a virus like the cold virus, flu virus that's been around for centuries. And we just have to accept it that, you know, our bodies will fight with it. And also many of these scientists and researchers, especially in the ones in South Africa, are saying that the way our body is handling Omicron and the reactions they're seeing with the T cells and lymphocytes and all that, they can see that there is enough immunity in our body to fight it based on the vaccine and those who've had COVID. So it looks like that our immune system is going to be able to handle this. Mixing vaccines. So m many of the researchers and people have said this, and I don't know if it's true because I don't have enough evidence and I've not done enough research, but basically if you mix vaccines, it's a cocktail of different um, ways of handling or dealing with the virus. So it can have a positive effect. It's the same thing in cancer and HIV and other diseases they give you a cocktail of medication. So from my point of view, it wasn't a bad idea to have a different version of the vaccine as a booster. Do I think this was a big experiment on the population? Yes, because whenever you join any kind of a treatment at the start of when the treatment is created, it's a massive experiment. And yes, we are all guinea pigs in this, but if you think about the people who have life-threatening terminal illnesses, um, cancers and other sorts, they're always looking for these, oh, can I join this new trial? Why do they do that? They think, well, I'm going to die. Maybe this trial will save me. We're all part of this trial, and I think some people did it because they thought it would save them. Others did it as they're perhaps more in the sheep category of the population that they follow everyone. For me personally, the reason I got the vaccine was because I travel a lot, as you know, uh, and I travel across borders around Europe. So when I'm traveling through five countries in two days, then if I don't have the vaccine um, pass, it would make my life very difficult. Traveling for me would become a nightmare. and. I thought, okay, if I have the vaccine, at least I can travel, I can do the things that I want to do. I didn't seriously think about the consequences and perhaps that's the reason why I suffered um, with the side effects because I didn't pay much attention, I didn't do enough research. So I'm not advising you to get the vaccine or not get the vaccine. That's entirely your own decision. What I'm saying is whatever decision you make, make sure it's an informed decision and it's not based on the masses, the rhetoric, the populace vote telling you what you should do. Um, it seems like many of the people who watched my video were the ones who didn't want to uh, get the vaccine and therefore this was their way of reassuring their decision. And yes, if you see someone who has had side effects, it will put you off and you will think, well, perhaps I shouldn't get the vaccine and that's entirely your decision um, but my decision was to go ahead with it and I even got the booster which perhaps in hindsight I wouldn't if I was thinking carefully about it but at the time it seemed like the right thing to do and as with many things in life we look back and at our mistakes and the things we did and say oh I wish I had done it differently so I think it's uh, hindsight is a great thing thanks for watching until the next one